My name is Suzanne Bonifert, and I'm the Head of Speech-Language Pathology Services at UT Dallas Callier Center for Communication Disorders. A master's degree in speech-language pathology prepares a student for a career as a speech-language pathologist. Now with a bachelor's degree, you can be an assistant speech-language pathologist, but to be a fully licensed and certified speech pathologist, you need to have a master's degree. Speech-language pathologists can work with people across the lifespan to diagnose and treat speech, language, and feeding disorders. They can work in many different settings, such as public schools, rehabilitation centers, clinics, skilled nursing facilities, or universities like this. There are numerous job opportunities for speech-language pathologists, which is important in this economy, as well as a high satisfaction rate. Nearly 80% of people who are speech pathologists rate that they are satisfied or highly satisfied with their careers. A degree in speech language pathology combines the fields of science, psychology, human development, and communication. Now at the undergraduate level, basic coursework is completed in human development, linguistics, anatomy and physiology, and social behavioral sciences. At the graduate level, students take more specialized coursework in evaluation and treatment as well as receive practicum experience, nearly 400 hours of practical clinical experience under the supervision of a licensed and certified speech-language pathologist, which you'll receive in both pediatrics and adult work with various disorders. After finishing your master's coursework, a student will take a comprehensive exam or write a thesis, now that depends on the university you go to. Then you'll take a national exam called the Praxis and spend a year as a licensed intern under the supervision of a licensed and certified speech pathologist. During this internship year, it is a paid position, so you're a working speech pathologist, but you're still classified as an intern. Now after this internship year, you will receive full licensure and a certificate of clinical competence from the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association. Now for someone wanting to get into this field, I would recommend first, if you're in middle or in high school, to study as much science as possible, both natural and social sciences, as well as as much English as possible, and studying a foreign language is really, really helpful. In addition, it's helpful to take public speaking courses. Also, call a clinic where rehabilitation specialists like speech language pathologists work, and see if you can shadow, observe, or volunteer. This will give you a taste of what it's like in the real world as a working clinician and also allow you to get to know professionals in the field, which will help with recommendations as you apply to schools. In addition, it's helpful to get volunteer experience working with people with disabilities, whether that be as a summer camp counselor, working with children with autism, or perhaps a buddy for an elderly person at a long-term care facility, or even babysitting or nannying for a family that has a child with special needs will allow you to get some experience and know what it's like working with a child or an adult that has special needs. To enter this career, one must have a sincere interest in helping people, an above average intellectual aptitude, and the sensitivity, personal warmth, and perspective to be able to interact with a person who has a communication problem. Scientific aptitude, patience, emotional stability, tolerance, and persistence are necessary, as well as resourcefulness and imagination. Other essential traits include a commitment to work cooperatively with others and the ability to communicate effectively both orally and in writing. Speech pathology is a really exciting career and I hope that you think about it.